All right, we are back, and this is going to be a video on the basics of Windows keyboard shortcuts, and these are the things you really need to know if you want to take advantage of your computer and really get things done quickly. I did put together two videos going through 50 of the best shortcuts that you could find on Windows, so definitely check those out. I put the links in the description for you. Now, I've set this up in two different sections, the first one being internet-based shortcuts, and the second part we're going to get into is going to be document and word-based shortcuts. So let's get started with the internet. The first shortcut we're going to take a look at is opening up a new tab. Now within your browser all you need to do is push control T and a new tab will open and continuously pressing this will open up more and more tabs. Now to quickly close these tabs you want to push control W and it'll close the active tab. Now to open up a new window, all you need to do is push Control N and it'll go ahead and open up a new window so it's like a separate browser open for you with the same browser, if that makes any sense. And if you want to close it, obviously the same way, Control W, it closes that window for you. To quickly refresh a page, all you need to do is press Control R and it'll refresh the page. Now if you ever want to go back to a previous page you looked at, it's very simple. All you need to do is press the Backspace button and it'll take you back to the previous page. A quicker and easier way to scroll through your web pages is by using the page up and page down keys. Rather than using the arrow keys which can be quite slow and the trackpad which is a little bit iffy at times, you can push page down to scroll down page by page and page up to scroll back up page by page. The hardest part about this is finding the page up and page down buttons as they're in various places on different keyboards. Alright, in this next section we're going to focus more towards the word style shortcuts like copying, cutting, pasting, and various things like that. Now these will work on the internet as well, so through your browser, but they'll also work in documents like WordPad, Notepad, or Microsoft Word. So, first thing we're going to start with is copy, cut, and paste. To use the copy shortcut, what you need to do first is highlight the word or words you want to copy, then press Control C. That will copy it to your clipboard. Now to paste it, you want to go to a section that's empty and push Control V. That will paste it. Now to cut anything, what you need to do is highlight the section you want to cut, push Control X and then go to an empty section and push control V. Now you can do this with different sections on the internet. Obviously most of the time you can't cut anything from the internet, but if you are on a browser you can copy a paragraph or anything you want and paste it to wherever you'd like. Now if you ever make a mistake like this one right here where I want to go back to my original paragraph, what you would do is push control Z. This will allow you to undo anything you've done and bring it back to its original format. Now you do have a certain amount of undos you can do, I'm not 100% sure on how many, but uh, you're pretty good, usually there's at least 5 to 10. Now if you want to redo anything, pushing control Y will allow you to redo any of those mistakes or anything that you've previously undid, bring it back to where it was. The next few shortcuts are pretty standard and they're specific to Windows WordPad, Microsoft Word, OpenOffice, or programs like that. And these are shortcuts that are going to actually allow you to bold, underline, italicize, and things of that nature very quickly. So what you need to do to bold is simply highlight the section that you want to bold and then press Control B and it'll automatically bold your word. Now if you want to underline it, once again, highlight the section you want push control U and it'll underline it. Now if you want to italicize the words, what you would do is highlight it, press control I. Now to remove all of these things, you would just simply again highlight it and press control I to remove the italicized, control U to remove the underline and control B to remove the bold. Now to select the entire page, to basically select all is what it's called, what you would do is push control A and that'll select the entire page. This will allow you to cut, copy, paste, uh, do whatever you want with that specific paragraph or your page. Now the last two shortcuts um, are again specific to Word documents within windows here. They could be useful depending on what you're doing, especially if you've got reports. So if I'm down here by the keyboard, and let's say I wanted to delete keyboard really quickly, rather than having to push backspace throughout, I can just specifically press control backspace. It'll take away the word behind. Now if I wanted to remove shortcuts, control delete will take away the word ahead of the cursor. So that's just a quick way to delete things um, if you're doing a report. Anyway guys, hopefully you found this somewhat helpful. Also feel free 
to leave your best shortcuts in the description or in the comment box down below to let everybody else know and myself as well it would be really appreciated also if you found it helpful or liked the video remember to hit the thumbs up button as it helps support my channel and helps me grow thanks for watching guys subscribe up top for more videos like this one and i will see you guys in the next one